Welcome to the panel for the Community Engaged Faculty Awards. Please welcome your finalists, Chris Taylor, John Dalton, and Samantha Rockwood. Each finalist will now give a short statement. Hello? Samantha is stealing thousands from the Rockwood Scholarship. She's lying. What? Who is this? She's lying to them. We have to print an apology. What? Alex, come on, it's a great story. Five different people on different occasions you all You said you had statements. evidence. It could cost the school real money. No, 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 their testimonies are the evidence. It's all right there. This isn't a joke. I'm telling you, it's not enough. Things are not looking good for us. Jen, Alex, my office. Jen, what is this? You don't, you don't bring me a half-baked story. How, how does he even make it to half baked? Have gone that far. Talk to me, Jen. There's a story there. Everyone knows it. Not everybody knows it. What about the vendor sanitation record? Uh, the, we may lose the vendor. It may be a lawsuit. Jen, write an apology, and then change desks with Alex. What? You're being demoted, Jen. Are you kidding me? It is what it is. Alex, you're stepping up. Tonight is the panel interviews for the finalists of the Community Engaged Faculty uh, Award. Uh, the, the VP of, of Finances is there. The CERT needs a presence. I, I want you to be there. I don't Consider think I'm the best. Consider it part of the promotion. Great. Jen, apology letter, one hour. Hey, what do you want? Come on, you know you don't want to write the story on your wall. How about this? I cover the story on mommy and you write my apology letter for me. Yeah, right. Sorry. Wait. Okay, look, fine. You did this to yourself. I'll write the apology letter, but let me cover the story on your mom. You know you don't want to. Okay, fine. Knock yourself out. It's, it's going to be a lame event anyways. Jen, a real apology letter, okay? to the panel for the Community Engaged Faculty Awards. Please welcome your finalists, Chris Taylor, John Dalton, and Samantha Rockwell. Each finalist Hello? will now She's lying to them. Statement. What? Who is this? Samantha is stealing thousands from the Rockwood Scholarship. Most people just write a check and call it good. Who is this? She's lying to them. What can I say? I enjoy getting my hands dirty. Jen. Hey, are you there? Uh, yeah, sorry. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Ah. Well, anyway, um... The report looks good. Thanks. Hey, what's up? Say I got an anonymous tip. Uh, well, those can be dangerous, Jen. You know, <clears throat> bits of info, uh, little to no credibility. Right, or it could lead to the story of the century. Uh, mm. <laughs> Come on, I got a good feeling about this one. Uh, you, you, you haven't learned. You, you, you gotta put the work in. Right, find the evidence, build the story. And I'm willing to do all of that. I just need a favor first. Thank you. 
Thank you for your time, Mrs. Rockwood, and good luck with that award. Hey, thanks for letting me piggyback on your interview slot. Oh, we both know it wasn't me. Anyways, good to see you again. Hey, Jen, you should swing by the Inquisitor sometime. We're always in need of more interns. Thanks. Jen. Hi. Staying busy? Yeah. Oh, actually, do you mind if I record this? Oh, not at all. All right. How does it feel to be a finalist for the Community Award? You mean the Community Engaged Faculty Award? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, it's quite an honor. Uh, in a community with such a rich history, it's the goal of every faculty to make an impact. Mm. And a rich family history as well. I read that the Rockwoods have been involved in the town's development since the 30s. Oh, actually, they, well, we've been here since before the 1900s. Marrying into a family like that must have been weird. Hard, probably in a different sort of way. What does this have to do with the award? I'm just trying to get some exposition. So, as vice president of finances for our school and a proud member of the Rockwood family, how involved would you say you are with the Rockwood Foundation? It'll save us both time if you clearly define your questions. I'm just trying to get a thorough understanding of the situation. Jim. And what situation would that be? It's Alan. <laughs> well, Jen, it's been fun chatting with you, but I've got a full schedule, I'm sure you understand. Oh, uh, Jen, a bit of advice. Don't go looking for a fire in a lake. You could drown. What are you doing out here? It's freezing. Yeah, I know. So no one bothers me. Well, I brought you something from the vending machine. It's diet, but it's the thought that counts. What's the bribe for? Bribe? I would never. <laughs> All right. I got a story and it's huge. Yeah, I've heard that before. Somebody is stealing money from the Rockwood Scholarship. Really? Yes. And look, I've got a lead. But like you said, I need evidence. What you need is luck. What I need is a partner. Come on, it'll be like old times. Fine. Under one condition, get better bribes. Like what? Zero sugar? Oh, come in. Hey. It's so nice to meet you. I'm Miss Snyder. Yeah, you too. My name is Jenna. Okay, I'll go first. Um, it wasn't really anything interesting. It was just this lady who was like, you've got three weeks to drop your classes if you want to be refunded. Well, that's not helpful. No. Uh, what about you? Well, I learned that the scholarship is usually given to the students who show previous academic achievement and are overachievers, unless their name is Jen, so. <laughs> that's it. Well. I've also got this list of names. It's students from the Rockwood Scholarship. Five different students for each of the 12 majors. So that's 60 students, right? And I got enough. Well, 
Let me see. You write about the 60, but I've, I've never seen this person in our journalism classes, have you? Who? Rick Durden. <laughs> um, maybe he goes by a different first name. Wait, what? Every student creates a new email account on their first day of classes. Okay, so? No Rick Durden. Whoever's behind this is creating fake students. And then three weeks later, they cancel. If one out of five students is fake, that's that's 12 each semester, that's $600,000. Didn't you know some of the- No, that's how she does it. it. Now we just need proof of the rerouting. She? Just hear me out. Come on, you wouldn't have helped me if you had known. And besides, she's the VP of finance and she can move money wherever she wants. It makes sense. Yeah, I'm sure she can. This was just like old times. Good job. What, what was that? Alex, come on. Hi, honey. Oh. Hi. Well, thanks for meeting me. I completely forgot about this place. The French toast is really good. Oh, okay. Honey, smile, you look miserable. I'm fine. Well, I have had quite the week <laughs> with this award and work and your friend Jen interrogating me. Hmm. Apparently she's doing some sort of story for Alan. Do you know anything about that? No, I don't know. Um, she's your best friend. She didn't tell you that she's she interviewed. She really didn't, she say, didn't anything. say anything. I, was she supposed to? Hi there, what can I get started for you today? Oh, Mrs. Rockwood. <laughs> uh, go ahead, honey. Just some coffee, thanks. I'll get that for you. Nice hair, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. It's very trendy, isn't it? I mean, it, might be out of style by next week, but it is nice. Uh, decaf for me, and we will split the omelet. Perfect. Honey, relax. Your hair is fine. Really? It's not too trendy? I'm just trying to help you. The way you are seen is the way people treat you. If you act like you don't care, then other people won't care either. Do you really think you earned that promotion all on your own? You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> now you just need to look and act like you earned it. How do you think a teenage waiter recognizes me when the Rockwoods haven't spoken to us for a decade? I don't know, Mother. Why don't you tell me? Well, to them, I was only Tom's wife. Once he was gone, they moved on with their lives and acted as though we never existed. They left us with nothing, but I had their name and I took that name and I did something with it. But that's not all you took. Honey, sometimes the only option is to take Here you go, and I'll be right back with that omelet. Thank you. Hey. Oh. Okay, so there has to be somebody to accept the scholarship or else why would the foundation transfer the money, right? So she makes these fake students, gets the money, and then she has the students drop classes after the refund day. It's unfortunate, but sometimes students drop out. Yeah, well, it's only a theory. You'll need a confession. Did you get a confession? Sort of. Well, let's hear it. Well, it's not that simple. This is what we've been waiting for. We could print this story right now. She's still my mom. She's stealing tons of money, taking opportunities from people who really deserve it. Like who, you? You're a coward, Alex. Can you not make any decisions for yourself? And you're no better than her.
everything okay? Uh, yeah. It's, I'm, I'm sure it's great. I just, I'm not hungry like I thought I was. Can I get a box? No problem. Anything else? No, thanks. That's all I need. Samantha Rockwood is lying to all of us. Hey, what's all this? Why did you do it? Why? I just needed people to know. Well, mission accomplished. You're suspended. Wait, suspended? Yeah, it's out of my hands. I really wish you would have just waited for me. Thanks for coming. Um, thought you might want this back. <sighs> Just because you are suspended doesn't mean you have to give up on the story. What does that even mean? Come at it from the beginning, find a new angle. Oh, look, there isn't a beginning. Okay. Just stupid phone call to All right, come with me. I want to show you something. You know, I used to be a real journalist once. Now you grade papers. Yeah. I pushed too hard. I uh, followed bad leads, got cocky. The point is, I lost my way, became a nobody.
I create the students and the paper trail. She moves the money. You're the caller. You gotta understand, I, I wouldn't be anybody if not for her. I, I owe her. But what about the students? Samantha has more power in this school, <laughs> in this town than you realize. So why tip me off? Uh, the award? No one has a clue who she really is. <laughs> Somebody has to stand up. Then why don't you? I, I can't. But you could. No. No, I couldn't. No one would believe me. Believe what? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. You don't mind if I join, do you? Warms my heart to see faculty and students spending time together. Oh, we were just wrapping up. It's late. Jen was going home. You cut the crap, Alan. Jen, woman to woman, this spreading rumors, gossip, it's just not becoming gossip. I have evidence. <laughs> and what about credibility? <laughs> you really think someone's gonna believe your word over mine? You're creating unnecessary attention and I've had enough. Too much attention isn't good for a public scholarship. <laughs> oh, Alan. Isn't Jen on the Rockwood Scholarship? If this gets out, if I go down, you lose everything. Give it some thought. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. How about this? I cover the story on your mom and you write my apology letter for me. Has that worked out so well? I'm sorry. She's still my mom. But she can't keep doing this. I have an idea about that, actually. What do you say? One last story? I'm starting to think you weren't gonna come. I'm surprised you called. We're live in five minutes. Honey. I'm a little busy right now. You asked if she hadn't mentioned anything else about the story? She did. I've got a story, but I need a platform. Okay. Samantha Rockwood has been embezzling hundreds of thousands from the Rockwood oh, Foundation. Is this about your post? Yes, but come on. This isn't just another story. People are getting isn't hurt. exactly your friend right now, Jen. We did the research and I found the evidence. Is that so? I'm sorry. Could we have the room, please? How could you do this? Why would you do this to our family? I am more than Tom's wife. And I did what I had to do to show that. It's all right here. Why are you giving this to me? Well, like you said, credibility isn't exactly my friend right now, so. I, I can't use your name. I can't say any of this came from the school. It'll have to be completely off record. You've always been more than just Tom's wife. You're my mom. It's about the truth. Not him tells it.
Now welcome the winner of the Community Engaged Faculty Awards, Samantha Rockwood. Wow, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for this award. Um, I would just like to take a moment and thank my colleagues, my, uh, my family. Uh, thank you. We will now take questions from our audience. I'm with the Inquisitor. Can you comment on the recent allegations made against you regarding scholarship embezzlement and blackmailing students? Uh, excuse me? We have a credible source. Samantha, do you care to comment? I, I, Samantha, any comment? I'm so, excuse me. 